can see on the left hand side here, this is starting to feel kind of like the way that I wanted it to. I almost want to get rid of, I almost want to get rid of this and have like a piece of lava there. I feel like the pink is a little bit distracting when you come up. Like if I put a lava source underneath this, it's not going to have anywhere to go. I could probably just remove those two. If I get rid of this here and let's just get rid of that. What happens if I remove this? And if I remove that, okay, so nothing happens there. So I could in theory, maybe take that and that, do that, and then remove that. Ah, but it doesn't come over this far. How could we do, how could we force it to come over here just a little bit? I guess we could try to put a block in there. If I try to put something in there like netherrack, then it would force the lava that way. It's what I wanted. And then if I get rid of it, does it stay? It stays. Okay. So then we can do, I think I have to get, can I get lower? Oh, that's tricky. Glass, glass, glass. And then these were stairs. And then this can be glass. I think that's going to look better. Yeah. Yeah, that looks much better. Just having that little bit of lava there. It looks a little bit funky here. I'm not sure if I like the sharp edge to it, but it's not terrible. I'm also not really sure about this. I kind of want, kind of want the stairs to have either a block or maybe an upside down stair would be more interesting. Don't really know. Wonder what I wonder what an upside down stair would look like. If we did that here. Just to see. So if we did that and this here. Yeah, I don't really like the holes. I like the holes. So we'll just go with that. I mean, you're really not going to be able to see it unless you're looking at it from over there. But I want it to have at least a little bit more of a solid look to it. So we'll do the other side as well. I think I also missed one at the top on the other side. So we'll, we'll get that from the top of the stairs. And this one. There we go. Oops. Block placing fail 101. Sorry, right, we'll run up and get these up here. That and there. And I think I missed one here too. And this side, this side, yes. Cool. So really the only thing left to do is just get, um, get this other side figured out, which is mostly just removing nether rack bit by bit and plugging any holes that we see. So it looks like we're achieving the same thing just in a different way on this side. So same idea, we can get rid of this and that. And then put in the glass again there. That looks right, does it not? Yep. We just have to do this little finicky bit here at the top, where I removed and removed some terracotta, because I wanted this 
to be lava. I think I did it by getting rid of this block there, but then having to, oh gosh, how did I do this? I think I had to put, I think I had to put a block on the back of that block. I can't really remember. Pretty sure I had to come in here and put like glass there temporarily and then get rid of it. And then put the glass back like that. And so then this would be terracotta, quartz, quartz, stairs, stairs, glass. And that looks roughly the same to me. Yeah, perfect. Easier the second time. Now coming down, it looks okay. I kind of want to maybe trim back the floor a little bit. Like I feel like I want to get rid of those two terracotta blocks, those corner blocks, and have the corner be more lava. Maybe fill up, maybe feel less square across the front here, have it give it more of an arc. I might do that at the end if I have time. The reason why there's a, a terracotta ceiling is because um, you don't get these lava drips on glass, which is, I mean, I get why, but it's um it's just a cooler effect when you're coming through here and the lava's dripping down from the ceiling and it looks like you get them over here but it's just a glitch it's 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 like it's trying to but it doesn't uh, you only get them on solid blocks so if you're decorating with lava just fyi because i thought it would be really cool to have lava across the ceiling here but i kind of like the drips better once i realized that the lava didn't drip with the glass Having the, the lava across the ceiling is cool and all, but I liked the, I thought I liked the drips better. So how do these two look? Excellent. So that is the right-hand side of the stairs done. As far as this underside goes, looking pretty good. Uh, now I think really we just have to get rid of um, some of this stuff that's distracting and we'll get rid of the ladder. Let's sort that out. I'm trying to remember how I, I guess I must have ender pearled up when I made the final changes down there, but we have to fix that, which will be pretty easy to do. So go down here, grab a little bit extra netherrack and we'll have to just kind of come down here along the side, get rid of that. That goes straight down, get rid of this little safety wall that we built. Get rid of all this. Now here is where we have to figure out what we're going to do for the lava. And I think I can just maybe come across here like that. If I put in two lava sources there and then let these kind of cascade on their own, I think it could look okay. I'm just debating on what to do first. Probably these. So if I do that and that, then they'll do that. And it'll make a kind of a cool pattern over here. And then in the middle, I think I've got, I want to be careful with this because I don't want to lose any more shulker boxes down here. I think I've got some lava buckets in here. I do, perfect. So I can pop down here and then I think I can just scoot over here a little bit closer. And I think if I put one here and another one on the other side, it takes the path of least resistance down and it just does a flat wall. Not nearly as interesting as I was hoping. I don't know. That's different than I had before, but it might look okay. Really, it all depends on what it looks like up here, right? 
you know, I kind of like the little, almost looks like a lava sewer. That's kind of cool. If I was to change anything though, what I think I would do is I would make uh, these quartz. So we'll do maybe something like this. Take that away and do quartz, quartz. Take this away and do another quartz, quartz. Now here, I think we could have some fun and actually have maybe an upside down stair. Could go there. And then we can go back to having stairs like that. Yeah, I think that works quite well. Very good, very good. Down here. And then we can just get rid of this extra weird scaffolding. I've got more netherrack that I know what to do with, so we don't have to keep any of this. Don't think there's anything down there. Let's get on the ladder here. Now, the tricky part is how to get rid of this ladder. I've got ender pearls, so I think I can just maybe remove an extra piece of glass so that's a little easier to shoot through. And we should just be able to just go down here, get everything else, and then grab the ladders. I do want those back. I think I can just fire an ender pearl up through there and it'd be okay. That's the plan anyway. Perfect. And two more glass blocks, three more glass blocks. And once those things despawn, I think this is gonna look pretty sweet. I like that fork. That's kind of a happy accident, that little kind of like two prong thing with the lava sewer at the bottom of the stairs. I'm not so sure about these. I might try to push those back a little bit farther and see if it looks like when they overlap the stairs, but I'm thinking that that looks pretty good. Thinking that that looks pretty good. Yeah, I don't know what this is weird. That ex, ex, the, that part there, but I would say that that's probably a good place to wrap things up. Boy, did we make some good progress. We've got uh, the stairs have been finished. The lava waterfall wall things have been finished. And this is feeling really, really good when you're walking through here. I really enjoy this little happy accident that we have with this, this fork underneath the stairs. It really makes them feel like they're part of the landscape, which is cool. Uh, I have to run though, because we are coming up on the very first hangout with our members over on the Spawn Chunks podcast. So if you're not familiar, I do a podcast with uh, my friend Pixel Riffs and it's called the Spawn Chunks. It's all about Minecraft. And we have some friends, some people that support us that are going to be hanging out with us later on today. It's part of our uh, Patreon and membership rewards for supporting the show. And we're going to be talking about the direction the podcast is going, all that kind of cool stuff. If you're not a member, then unfortunately there's no way to tune in. But if you are, then you can listen this afternoon or you can listen later. Uh, there's going to be a recording of it posted for, for members only. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And hey, uh, during the week, the podcast is always free. Every Monday we record the new show. So you can check that out over at spontrunks.com or just look for us by name on your favorite podcast app. Everything for me is going to be found online at joelduggan.com. Uh, that includes links to the other podcasts I do, links to my artwork, all that kind of stuff. I've been doing a lot of cool YouTube art and uh, Twitch stream badge art. So if you are interested in something like that, get in touch. It's just uh, my emails over at joelduggan.com and hopefully we can work something out. That's going to be it for me, folks. I will see you all next time.